Okay, good morning and good evening to all. So this is Manthan, and today we are going to have a overview of Workday where we'll get to know about that, how we are going to start, what all things Workday covers, and for what purpose we are all here. Okay, so let's see what is the agenda for the day. Yes, so let me give my quick introduction that my name is Manthan and I carry 12 plus year of experience where I am a certified consultant. So when I say a certified consultant means I am being certified by Workday. So my certification, when you talk about certification, I carry HCM fundamental certification, report writers, uh, performance module. So these are the three certification which I carry. And currently I'm also going for an core compensation certification, which is due next month. Coming to my overall experience, I carry 10 plus year of experience wherein from last seven years, I'm into Workday ecosystem. And currently I'm working as a Workday techno-functional consultant for one of the US-based organization where I'm taking care of compensation models. So I'm leading a compensation module there. Okay, so this is what my overall experience and introduction is about. And let us have a quick round so that we get to know that who all are there. So what we'll do is we, I just need your name and your overall experience. Okay. Two things. And let me go with the list, which I see in my chat box. So I see that Nishant is there. Nishant, go ahead and uh, give us a quick intro about your name and your experience. That's it. So two things from your end. Yeah. Hmm. I'm Nishant Williams and I have around yeah. uh, 17 years of experience in sales and marketing. I'm so sorry, but you're sounding very low. If you can just see if anything yeah, wrong. Yeah, I'm in train. I'm in So, who on earth works here? Okay, okay. Uh, then, thank you for the introduction. Then I have Alex. Hey there, uh, my name is Alex. I currently work in HR, but... Um, I use other EPR systems, um, so I just need to um, go into work there fully. Um, overall, I have about 15 years of experience in HR, um, doing all um, like um, employee relations, recruitment, um, appraisal, and all that thing within HR, but not the technical aspects of it. Okay, no problem, uh, Alex. You are at the right place where you, we will enhance your or we will take your HR experience to make sure that we map your requirement into Workday application. So thank you for the introduction uh, and welcome to the world of Workday. Then I see Aparna. Uh, hi, this is Aparna here and I'm working from approximately 10 years in the, in the field of uh, uh, testing. So I'm uh, trying to learn work there. Okay, okay. Welcome, welcome Aparna and thank you for the introduction. Then I see Chaitanya. Yeah, hi, this is Chaitanya and I'm having 2.5 years of experience and I'm working as a uh, uh, associate in Wipro. It's a investment banking. Okay, okay, yeah, thank you, Chaitanya. Then Fayaz. Hi, uh, hi, Madana. It's me, Fayaz here. I'm from Bangalore, uh, working in uh, uh, in HR field from last eight years, and uh, currently I'm using the end user of Workday in my current organization. Okay, okay. yeah, thank you, Fayaz. Then I think uh, you will be a good. Uh, a person wherein you can see how, how the configuration is done. So in terms of requirement, you can help us during our uh, activity session. Okay, thank you and welcome. Then sure. I see Gaurav. Yeah. Hello, hi Manthan, Gaurav this side. And uh, I have around more than eight years of experience into the um, software development. Okay, uh, thank you Gaurav. And then we'll move on to Kushal. Uh, hi, Manthan. Kushal here. So I've been, I have almost around 2.5 years of experience on Workday itself uh, with uh, like uh, from the point of operations, like as an oh, end user. Okay. okay. So yes, I'll, I'll give you the scope also, what all things we are going to cover when we talk about a configuration wise. But yes, uh, since you carry experience, so you will be in of great help for us and to the other team members at how the actual world works when you talk about workday application. Welcome, Kushal. And then I see Lakshmi Apurva. Uh, hi, uh, this is Lakshmi Apurva. 
Uh, I have total seven years of experience into finance background. Okay, okay. Thank you, uh, Lakshmi. Then moving on to Mona. Uh, hi, Mantan. Hey, hi. Uh, well, um, <laughs> well, I worked as a people sub consultant earlier. Okay. So since the uh, last few years, I'm not working anymore. So again, no problem. But uh, uh, okay, we will see that how work they originate. But since you carry people soft experience, that means uh, you are again in you know the concept of uh, uh, HR terminology. So we will see how it goes. And welcome. Then I see Samson. But uh, if you don't mind, can you rename and then uh, give your quick introduction? Samson yeah, hi. is the hi hi. This is Akanksha Manthan, and uh, yeah. actually, uh, I have uh, three and a half years of experience in mainframe development. Actually, and uh, I quit my job in 2018 uh, due to some family and personal reasons. And okay. now I'm uh, uh, willing to get back to work, and uh, I'm uh, hoping that I would make a good future in work day. Sure, sure. Okay. So you will get to know. You will automatically get to know where you stand when we say that hey, we have done with HCM training. Then you will automatically get yeah. to know that where you do, and you can do your self analysis, and then you can move on. But yes, you are at the right place. And thank, thank you for you. the introduction. Then I see Tawalam. Sorry, uh, if I am not pronouncing this is... properly. No, no, it's okay. Hi there. My name is Shiva. Actually, uh, okay. I got like uh, total three years of experience in sales. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, um... No. Okay. So you are into sales, but now you wanted to switch your career from uh, sales mm -hmm. to consulting. Again, it kind of we can take uh, you can take your or consider your experience, but we'll see uh, how things goes. And uh, welcome. Then no, I you. see Suresh. Hi, Mantan. Good evening. <clears throat> I have 11 years of experience. Currently, I'm working in SAP Bob J and BODS consultant. Okay. okay. Uh, welcome, welcome, Suresh. And thank you. So what I'll do, guys, uh, thank you for your uh, quick introduction. And we, I see that uh, So we have a mixed uh, combination of uh, candidates where some of you are carrying two years of experience. Some of you are working as an end user. Some of you are totally switching your career from some different domain into workday. So it's like, so what I'll do. So the reason why I have asked you to go for an introduction, which will, so the, in, in, in the training is not predefined. It is not like that. I'll go in the same pace if the audience is fresher or experienced. So depending upon the audience, we tweak our training. So basis on the audience, what I'll do, we'll take a baby step. Even though if you guys know the concept or you carry experience, but still others are not uh, like, uh, like again, HR savvy. So we will take a baby step. So I'll go slow and I'll make sure that you guys have a proper understanding of workday application. Okay. So let's just give half a minute so that you get to know about my introduction. Okay. I've already given, but take half a minute just to go over the introduction and then we will kickstart the agenda for the day. Okay. So just half a minute, guys, go over this. Actually, I cannot see your screen, Mantar. Okay. My screen is not visible. How about others? Yes. Yes, no, we are not, it's not visible to me. Okay. Well. I am so sorry. My bad. One moment. One second. Let me see what is wrong. One second, guys. Let me see. Now you guys can, can see my screen? No, actually, still can't see. I see that uh, you can see, right? Yes. Yes, Mathur. Okay. So just yeah, I can take half see a now. minute. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you for the confirmation. So take half a minute and then we will kickstart for the agenda. Yeah. 
Mantan, I have one request. Is it possible to share this record session after this session? Uh, yes, yes, I can share it. Yes, yes, I can yeah, actually, share it. Today, actually, I am traveling. That's why actually I just joined. Uh, so I have my bus at 8.40. That's why I am leaving. Thank you. Yes, sure, I can share it. Okay, guys, let's... Uh, any question, guys, before I kick start? Any, any questions? Okay, no problem. So let's see what we have for today. Okay, so the agenda for the day is like, we need to get to know about... So we'll start, as I said, we are going to go... Okay... We'll take a baby step and we'll get to know about the background of Workday first, why we are all here. We know that we need, we are all here to do a configuration part and get an opportunity. But yes, when we are starting or learning a new application, we need to make sure that how that application arises, what are the components which we need to focus on. So yes, agenda is pretty much similar to that, that we need to understand what is cloud computing. What is the difference between on-premises and cloud module because Workday is a cloud application. Then why Workday? Why we are here? Why we all are focusing on Workday and making uh, wanted to make our career in Workday? So we will see that part. Yes, we are going to target human capital management, which is HCM. Workday HCM is the uh, module which we are going to target. Then advantages of Workday, bit of history to understand how Workday got evolved and the big one. When we say we are giving an HCM training, what all things we are going to cover? So HCM fundamentals, Workday has two segments, functional and the technical part. So technical is purely integration and studio stuff. Okay. So let's get started. Yes. Introduction about cloud computing. So what is cloud computing? So first of all, Workday is a cloud application. So what is cloud application? When we heard a concept of cloud, what does that mean? So cloud means internet and computing means you can perform actions, okay? So Workday is an application which needs inter internet where you can perform an action. Okay, it is just a one-liner definition, but when we go in detail, you see that this is a cloud computing means a central repository. So you all have a Facebook account or a Google Drive. So when you store or upload your photo, where do you upload your photo? You don't upload your photo onto your local machine, right? It goes directly onto a Facebook server or a Google Drive server. That means even though if your system got crashed or you are changing your laptop or you are moving from one country to other country, but still you can access your data and your Facebook account. So what does that mean and how you can do that? You can do that because your data is stored onto a centralized database. So same concept in Workday, whatever data each, any customer who is using Workday, their data is stored onto a centralized repository. So this is a centralized repository where a data will get stored and you can access this data from any device. So it is not system specific where you need a network. No, you just need an internet connectivity. So you have internet connectivity, then you can use your Workday application on your tab, on your laptop or a desktop. So it is not a system specific. You move from one country to other country, still you can access Workday because the primary requirement for Workday to use is you should have an account and an internet connectivity. And we all know that getting an internet connectivity is not a big deal. You go around the globe, you will get an internet connectivity. So same concept workday is using so whatever data i am storing i am not storing onto my local machine i am storing onto a central repository and i can access this data from any part where i just need to have a device with a internet connectivity if i have that so that is the concept called cloud computing so data is stored onto a central place it is not onto a system specific it is not onto your system or onto your organization database it is onto workday centralized server okay then why cloud means when we say cloud why cloud why we have because if you guys are from 2000 or 2005 when you started your journey you might have seen that organization used to have their own server they used to share they like save their own data onto their own server then what is the need of cloud? What was the reason where cloud got introduced? 
the reason for the cloud is very very simple where the first part is maintenance so if i am taking a workday service that means it's workday's responsibility to take care of their database and do the maintenance if i have my database that means i have to hire a consultant who is going to take care of the database and then price is involved everything is involved in that part but when i say cloud computing i just need to subscribe to a service and everything will be handled by service provider so workday is on cloud computing where my data is stored onto a centralized machine then what is there in on premises on premises means if disaster happen or if i am not in a network i won't be able to use the application but on the other hand you just need an internet connection if you have that you can use the workday application so here reliability is more where you can access your application so in recent past year when everyone is struggling to do a setup work from home where you everyone is forced to ask to work from home because of cloud technology it made it possible to work from home everyone started working from home because of cloud application where you need an internet connectivity so or what organization did they gave computers they gave internet connectivity and everyone start using it if i would have worked on on premises then i would have been forced to work from office where i have to go to office connect to a network and then work on the thing which is a drawback application like people soft sap oracle ebs are based on on premises where everything is to be monitored and maintained by customer here workday salesforce oracle fusion is on cloud where maintenance will be taken care by the service provider let's get in detail so here i have three segments one is infrastructure other one is platform and the other one is software currently the current world is focusing on the software as service but we will see the evolution in early 90s the concept was infrastructure as a service so what does infrastructure as a service means let's say i am a manufacturing company and i wanted to implement a application where i can store my employees detail then if i have that requirement i have to take the application means licenses i have to have the run time where who all can use what all modules i can have i have to take care of integration and security and database means everything which is in blue is to be taken care by you manage when i say you manage means customer has to manage all of these thing and when they say that it is managed it everything relates to cost i have to go for a cost and all other things are been maintained by the vendor so if i am using people soft so for people soft implementation i have to use all of these thing and rest will be maintained by people soft right after this the concept came platform as a service where i need to have an application for an example your microsoft office you need to have a, that microsoft office install onto a system and then you can perform or the second best example is antivirus you need to install the antivirus onto your system and then you can go for upgrade everything is maintained by antivirus provider but you need to install the application after that the latest world is on saas software as a service in software as a service you see that application run time security database everything is maintained by vendor okay what does that mean so facebook whenever any update comes to facebook they are not asking you whether you want that update or not they are centralizedly updating it and every user who is using or who is subscribed to facebook they all can use that part okay so all your update it is automatically given to the customer or to a service provider they don't have to opt in or they don't have to pay any additional again we'll not talk about amount but yes any feature is there which is globally given to all the subscriber so it is easily accessible where all of these items are directly been maintained by the service provider for instance facebook but workday works on the same concept where any update any enhancement which you need will come from will come from workday so 
currently we are on software as a service okay so considering this fact we will move on and we'll get in detail of software as a service okay then why work day and bit of history so i see that couple of you guys are from people soft so these two faces are very familiar faces so these two were the owner of people soft so they they were owning people soft so they implement they developed people soft as a application erp and in 2005 these two gentlemen sold people soft to oracle and they came up with a new company called workday so guys don't get don't be under impression that workday is an erp workday is a company the name of the erp itself is company okay so workday is a company and then they have a erp called workday application okay so they started a new organization called workday so what they did what whatever limitations were there in people soft since they know people soft very well they overcome all the limitations of people soft in a new hr application which is workday okay and now these two gentlemen were are owning workday application okay what is the advantages built for the cloud in people soft i have to implement i have to take the license i have to get the run time everything is been there but in work day it is built on cloud so guys when we give you access we will not ask you to install any software onto your local machine you just need a browser and internet connection and you can use work day application no installation required so built on cloud unified finance and hr application so in traditional application what used to have if i have implemented hr and i wanted to implement a finance application also then i have to all together go for an implementation then do a integration where hr data will flow to hcm application sorry uh, finance application but in workday it is not the case if i have implemented one module all the data from that module if it is required by any other module will be seamlessly applicable i don't have to go for any integration the guys integration means when you ask your system to speak to other application that is integration leadership with a proven track record yes it started its journey from 2005 and from 2005 till year today there is no complaint from the customer okay no complaint from the customer and you will see there is an enhancement it is not like that they started with hcm and they are only focusing on stm they enhance their application which you are going to see in the subsequent slides highest customer satisfaction rate yes because customers are happy customers are liking workday application that is a reason there is a demand in workday and everyone wanted to have their application in workday and importantly if there is more application used by customer then there will be a more job okay so it's directly proportional to our customers with the number of job which we have he is dev duffel and he is anil bosri currently both are the chairman of workday application and they are they were owner of people's of they sold people's of to oracle now they are owning workday application okay let's see the evolution of workday because when to in 2005 the application which was been implemented and currently the workday application which we are using currently there is a huge difference okay there is a huge difference so what was the difference they both started the application they came up with only one module in 2005 which is human capital management they came up with human capital management during the 17 year of journey you see that they have introduced different different modules us payroll financial management cloud connectors project uk payroll inventory you name it you will get it so during this 17 year of journey they started with hcm they are not only having hcm but they are having different different module in their application okay so during this journey now guys this is interview question what is the interview question that workday comes up with two releases in an year okay workday comes with a two release in an year one in the month of march and other in the month of september so first monday of march and first monday of september a workday will come up with a new release okay if i ask you 
currently you are using Microsoft Office 2010 and I say that upgrade it to 2012, then you will say it asked me for the money. Means you have to pay the amount and then only you'll be upgraded. But in Workday, it is not the case, okay? Every release is free to all the customers, okay? That means if there are 3,000, there are 3,800 customer currently who are using Workday and all the customer is on current version. None of the customers are using backdated version. Why? Because Workday is not charging any extra additional amount on the versioning. It is free of cost given to all their customers. Okay. So guys, two release in an year. Okay. Before 2020, before 2020, the versions were like R1, sorry, the versions were like 1, 2, 3, till 34, Workday uses a version till 34. After that, they changed the concept of terminology. They came up with R1 2021, means release one of 2020. R2, release two of 2020. Release one, R1 of 2021. So the nomenclature is R1 2021, R2, R2 2022. Currently, we are using R1 2022. When September comes, then we are going to use R2 2022, means release one and two followed by the year. Okay, this terminology is changed from 2020. Prior to that, it was workday one, workday two, workday three, workday four. Till workday four, 34, it was one, two, three. After 34, they changed the nomenclature and now it is release one of that year, release two of that year. So the current version is R1 2020 and all the customers who are using Workday are on R1 2022 release. Okay. During this journey of 17 years, Workday has acquired several small, small organizations. So now you see a uh, recent acquisition is Adaptive Insight. Adaptive Insight is a third party application which is based on manpower planning. Workday acquired that organization. Now Adaptive Insight is also part of Workday. So you see that Workday is not only mastery in HCM, but they acquire other organization or they came up with a new, new model so that it becomes a centralized place where a customer, if I want to implement recruiting, I can simply go with Workday and say that, hey, I am currently I'm using HCM, give me student or give me Prism Analytics. So what happens? It is a, a central place where you can opt in multiple modules. But, but guys, the thumb rule says HCM is the foundation module. If I don't have HCM, that means I won't be able to implement any of the other module. Let's suppose if you guys come up, come up and say that, hey, I want Workday ERP where I only want recruiting module, but I don't want HCM. Then Workday will straight away say, no, this is not possible. You want to have Workday HCM and then you can go for any other module. And that is the reason, guys, we all are focusing on HCM, Workday HCM, because Workday HCM is a foundation module where all other module will speak with HCM. So getting to know HCM, if I am a technical consultant or I am a functional consultant, HCM, Workday HCM is the foundation module. All have to go for a HCM fundamentals. And that is the reason we are starting our workday journey with HCM fundamentals. Okay. Since this slide, slide is like older one, but currently due to increase in the market, there are the current count is to 3,800 plus customers are using workday. Workday new version is R1 2021. As I mentioned, that hey, workday acquires adaptive insights. So this is a new acquisition which workday has worked, and it is on the skill cloud so everything is on cloud application okay now let's go about the structure of workday this is a bit more technical but we will not go in detail of technical because we have a technical session when we talk about technical we will deep dive but how the structure of workday is the one so what are the structure of it so this is the structure so this structure has two segments okay let me use and tell you that what all structure we are going to use. So we are going to focus on this part first. If you see here, this has been maintained by 
customer and this is being maintained by workday production okay so there is two part and then we are going to focus on how customer data gets stored onto workday application and how you can retrieve data from workday application okay so let's see it now what is customer needs customer needs a mobile and a browser mobile means a system application and they should have a browser in place if they have that part along with the internet that is a prerequisite so as a customer i can use my internet okay and once i have that let's suppose i am logging into a system workday will first check with my user interface services so here workday will first validate the login user is a genuine user or it is the unauthorized user if i am a genuine user so how would workday determine that workday will determine that with your id and password with your security question so if i am a genuine user workday will allow me and tell me yes you are now certified to go in so user interface service will validate whether i am an authenticated user or not then since i am authenticated i'll be get into here now workday get send data or receive data in xml format okay workday sends data or get the data into xml now why xml because xml takes very low bandwidth of internet so even though if you have a low bandwidth of internet still you can use workday application that is the reason workday using xml now what is object management system now workday stores data into an object it is not onto a tabular format if you talk about oracle or sql you will say that workday sorry it, the data is stored into a table format but in workday it is stored onto an object okay what is the difference between table and object when you have data in your table format your retrieving takes time you need you you look out for multiple table and then fetch the data which is a time consuming so your system might get slow down but when you are using an object i say worker so i will only look out for work day in worker information if i talk about supervisory organization only talk about organization so what happens work day stores data into an object and guys we are going to deep dive when we talk about the navigations but currently workday store so if i am an customer i am hiring an employee all my higher employee information will be stored into object management system so this is my object management services where my data will be stored again if i am i want to have a report number of employees in my organization i will fetch the data from object management services and have a report so whether i store data or get the data object management services will come in picture then i have a persistent services what is persistent services persistent services means if let's suppose any disaster happen and this service center is now not reachable let's say flood happens earthquake came or any any natural disaster or there is a communication gap so there is no data which you can fetch from the oms system then what will happen in that case all my request will be routed to persistent services now persistent services is the mirror of object management in any scenario if customer is unable to reach to object management services which is a failure of workday still your service will not be impacted because there is a persistent services means the replication of object management that means instead of request going to object management your request will go to persistent services that means customer will get seamless data as of now this situation never come where your oms application broke never come but workday is playing safe in any case if anything goes wrong persistent services will come in picture okay this is how it works when i add my data and it gets stored into an object okay then there is a second segment which talks about data services okay what is data services data services means let's suppose i am using workday application and oracle payroll okay oracle is a different application workday is a different application and i say that i need workday data to be sent to payroll for processing and payroll is handled by oracle now how this will work both the applications are unique right one is owned by oracle one is owned by workday then 
Oracle will say, I will not modify my coding for Workday. If Workday needs, they can come up with their, their own concept, but I will not do any modification. So in such scenario, the concept comes in picture is integration services. Because anyone who is interested in technical part of Workday, then they go for integration services where you have to write a code so that your Workday application will talk to third party application. Okay, so there are several integration services given by Workday. You can use that services to update the data. Let's suppose if I'm talking about payroll application, I need employee demographic information given to Oracle. That means I am taking data from Workday application to Oracle, one approach. Let's have a second example where I am using Oracle recruiting and I want recruiting data is given to Workday. So what I'll do, I will have my Oracle data given into Workday application. So whether you add data in Workday or get data from Workday to have, if I'm doing with a third party application, then integration services will come in picture, okay? We will deal with that when we talk about integration services. First guys, this is just a high level overview. Do not get in detail of this part because we are simply starting a new concept of Workday. So just a high level overview. But when we talk about technical part of Workday, because our session is divided into two parts, there we will talk about integration services and we will again relook on this diagram. But for now, you just understand that Workday stores data in object management system. Workday give data or take data in XML format. If I want to use any third party application, then integration services is required. Okay, this is what the purpose of having this architecture here in the system. Okay, let's go for a quick advantages. I have covered most of the advantages, but we will go line by line and see what are the advantages. So it says unified suites of application means I am using HCM. I wanted to go for recruiting or with the payroll. There is no downtime means if I'm using payroll, I can directly send my workday data, worker data to payroll because guys, here I'm referring to all the workday application. If I'm using workday HCM, I want to implement workday payroll, all my data will be seamlessly given. So there is no downtime. Each application is connected to each other. This is the advantage. In other application, if I'm using PeopleSoft HCM and I wanted to use PeopleSoft Finance, then I have to go for again implementation, development, and then I have to do that part, which is a time consuming activity. Lower total cost of ownership, yes, because in this case, you see that, right? Most of the things are being maintained by Workday production, right? Database, checking of user authentication, sending the data and getting the data. So in that case, we are not asking any one of you to install any software, any middleware or any database. It is, and if I'm not asking you to spend anything onto your infrastructure, obviously you are saving money. Rapid development and faster time to value. Yes. Where, let's take an example of PeopleSoft. If I want to implement PeopleSoft for 20,000 employee, I have to go for one year of implementation. Means one year of implementation is needed to implement PeopleSoft. On the other hand, in six months, you can implement Workday. So what happens? Rapid development, you don't have to wait for one year. So again, guys, time is the money. If I'm taking your one year, and on the other hand, Workday is taking only six months, obviously you're saving your time, you're saving your money. Continuous innovation and adoption. So it is not like that Workday started with HCM and they aren't to HCM. No, during the journey, they came up with different, different modules. So it is continuous innovation and adoption. It is not like that they are mastery in HCM. They are doing mastery in recruiting, in payroll, in talent and performance, time tracking in every module, they are coming and they are innovating things. So it is not like that only HCM. And the final point is safety from the start, which is my favorite point. Because when I heard a concept of cloud computing in 2008, I was under impression that cloud computing is not going to fly because no one wanted to store their data on third party application because of some confidentiality issue, right? What if it worked, they leaks my data to the competitor, right? We all have that fear because we are storing our confidential information, but we are on 17th year since the workday evolved. 
there is not even a single complaint which occurs saying that workday has manipulated the data not even a single complaint and if one has to store data of the customer they need to have a certification and workday as a certified where it has ISO 27100 SSAE 16 type second so these are the certification which workday carries this certifies that that workday is allowed to store customer data and maintain the customer privacy okay again in case if any let's suppose you 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 sign a contract where you say that what happens if my data got leaked in that scenario workday will give you 10 time of your loss so this is on the agreement so when you subscribe to workday service workday will give you an a return saying that in any circumstances if a customer get to know that their data is leaked workday will pay a 10 10 times of that cost okay 10 time of their reimbursement to that organization if there but as of now there is not even a single case so that means storing data on cloud is the safest option and yes we all see that right google facebook instagram all the application you talk about everything is on cloud that means now the cloud is the need of the hour these were the few advantages but slowly and steadily we will get to know about more of it okay about workday tenant now since we are working or we are learning workday we need to know about what are tenants now guys tenant means i am not saying erp i am not saying software i am saying workday tenant why i am saying workday tenant why not software because i am not owning workday application i am subscribing to a service you cannot say that if you have your account in facebook you don't say that oh, no no i have a license of facebook no you say that i have subscribed to a services same concept in workday you don't buy the workday application you subscribe to workday application and then you start using it so when you do that each customer will get three tenants why it is tenant what is the definition of tenant why if i am moving to new york okay and i am renting an apartment so i'll be a tenant what does that mean means till the time i want to use that apartment i'll use i'll pay if i am not satisfied or if i wanted to discontinue i'll just take my deposit and i'll like look out for other option same concept in workday if you are satisfied with the application you go and use it if you are not then you discontinue the services but this is not the case where customer has discontinued the services but it is still a tenant concept each customer will have minimum to minimum three tenants now guys tenant is a, a application where we are going to do a configuration right before using application we need to do a configuration so all that configuration we are going to do in the tenants there are three types of tenant production tenant where is my live environment all my production data all my live data will be in production tenant then there is a sandbox and then there is an implementation tenant guys sandbox is for testing purpose let's suppose i am a customer i raised an issue in saying that hey the position which i have created is not visible to me so as a workday consultant you will not directly go in production and start doing the r and d no you will not do that right you will do it you will do that in testing environment so we will do a research and analysis in testing environment and if you are able to resolve the issue in testing environment then only you will move that configuration to production right then what is implementation so sandbox is for testing purpose and guys one more point every friday every friday all my production data will come in my sandbox that means in production if i have 20 issues all that 20 issues will be there in sandbox where i'll be resolving the issue in sandbox if i am able to resolve that issue i'll be updating in the production okay every friday guys there is a refresh the concept is called as refresh production data will come to sandbox what is implementation tenant guys implementation tenant means let suppose i am using hcm now i wanted to implement recruiting obviously without testing without implementing you will not trust the application right your user needs hands on application your new user needs hands on training so all my implementation work i am going to do in implementation tenant okay what is the difference between sandbox and implementation 
in sandbox every friday my data will go off and production data will come but in implementation tenant all my configuration will be there unless i raise my voice to work there and say that hey please refresh the data with customer so this is on demand refresh and this is every friday so each customer will have one production one sandbox tenant and multiple implementation tenant okay i can have implementation 1 implementation 2 implementation 3 it depends upon organization to organization but the minimum tenants which a customer will have is production sandbox and implementation one production one sandbox and multiple implementation tenant okay guys clear the concept of sandbox and implementation tenant okay yes sir now what is gms tenant now guys since we are now going into work day so gms tenant is a access which we are going to give you as i said work day is a practical application means you cannot read the book and say that no i am a certified and i know the concept no you need to have a good hands on experience to use work day application so obviously if you have a hands on experience we need to give you a tenant access so the what tenant we are going to give first thing in my what i said in my uh, advantages customer data is not going to be compromised so what tenant i am going to give you guys if i give you any customer data i am violating the workday promises right so workday has given us a dedicated tenant for learning and practice purpose which is gms gms stands for global modern services so what what all things are there in gms it is a hypothetical tenant created by workday with a dummy data where it is only meant for demo purpose training purpose and learning purpose so we at sv training we are going to give you that gms tenant access so that you can do your practice and you can activities okay all your practices and activity all the data which you see is a hypothetically updated by workday so there is no real data it is just a demo purpose data which workday has updated so we are going to give you a gms tenant access and i am using a gms tenant access so let me log in into a gms tenant oops let me just try so i'm login as logan mcneil my name is not logan mcneil guys again this is a hypothetical tenant given by workday so i'm login into a gms tenant and let me login here come on see here gms tenant my name is manthan but i am logged in as logan mcneil okay so this is my workday application landing page we will see we will get in detail in our upcoming sessions but this is how workday application looked like and we are going to give you a gms tenant you see that i am not logged in with my credentials i am logged in with a logan mcneil logan mcneil is a super user created by workday for demo purpose so we are going to use logan mcneil access for all our configurations okay yes so we are going to give you a gms tenant access for your hands on and the activity and each session will be followed by an activity okay let's move on and see that what is now guys we need to understand how workday works so workday has partners partner means the organization which can implement workday so organizations like kpmg sira seder ibm accenture deloitte pwc are the partner company means workday has given them authority to implement workday on behalf of workday so those are workday partners then there are services if implementation is done you need a production support right what if if anything goes wrong or you need to come up with the enhancement who are going to do that so there is a service partner also who can support workday where we all will come in picture and there are customers also the customer who are using workday are the list of customers so what i will urge just go on this website visit the website called 
www.workday.com okay visit this website to just go over the website to understand how workday works who are the partner who are the customers so since we are going into customer list we'll just go over the customer list so you see here you will get to know about all the customers who are using workday so just go over this website and just browse and get some hands on reading material to kick start the session because guys we all are here to learn workday but if i directly jump onto the configuration part then i'm not justifying we need to know how workday evolved who were the owner what was the design of workday how workday works we we did that like but like understanding of our workday concept so just go over this website just browse and get to know about how this works in the real world okay let's quickly move on to yes now the big one guys as of now we have seen workday advantages workday evolve workday structure why cloud everything we have seen now coming back to hcm fundamentals okay now guys we are going for hcm functional training okay now what we have done we have not defined something very like uh, fairy where everyone get interacted what we have done we have simply copied and pasted the structure which workday follows so if you are going for a certification workday will put you under a training and then there will be an exam you clear that exam then you will be a certified consultant same concept we have followed where if you go for a certification certification is divided into eight chapters we are also having eight chapters the only difference which we have is workday completes the training of hcm in 16 hours we take 20 hours to we take 30 hours so we will take double of the time which workday takes workday gives you 16 hours and say that hey i am done with the hcm go for exam and clear the exam we take 30 hours double time what workday takes that is what the only difference otherwise we are simply following the same pattern which workday follows we are going to give you a tenant access we are going to cover the chapters which workday follows as part of hcm functional we are going to give you a tenant there will be an hands on activity there will be a project given to you all and all the things which we give yes the only difference is only workday has right to give you a certification so guys in this training you will be given training but you will not be called as certified because certification can only be done by workday employee or the partner employee these two types of organization can only go for a certification all other can learn workday and go for it we will see other part of it so yes core concepts and basic navigation we are starting an application so we will go very easy how to how workday application looks like how to navigate we'll do that part then we'll go in organizations we will have an organization structure we'll talk about staffing model we will have jobs and position guys all of these chapters is an activity based that means 20% is presentation and 80% is activity so in our 30 hours of session 6 hours into 6 to 8 hours will be onto our presentation and rest 24 to 26 hours we will be devoting to an activity as i mentioned workday is an activity based application you cannot read and say that no i know workday application unless you have hands on experience okay so this is the thing and very important point guys you you don't be under impression that okay i'm not going to focus on core concept i know no each of these chapters are in, interrelated to each other so if you don't complete your organization then you will not be able to complete staffing model okay that means if you are missing any of the activity then you are missing the chain okay that means from chapter 1 to chapter 7 okay from chapter 1 to chapter 7 we are going to have individual concept but at last when we talk about transactions in workday we are going to combine all of our knowledge in transactions okay and guys if you have to be and here 
no one needs to have any programming skills. This is purely functional. So you don't have to have any programming skills. If you are a functionally savvy, if your logic is clear, then you all can go for HCM fundamentals. Okay, no training, no IT background, no programming skill is needed. Okay, so this is what we are going to cover in HCM fundamentals. We are going one step ahead and we are also providing a technical part of Workday. Okay, when I say technical, again, I am not asking anyone you, any one of you to learn any programming language. But when you say I am a techno-functional consultant, the possibility of getting job increases. Okay, and for that reason, we are having technical part also covered in HCM fundamental, where we are going to cover reports, calculated field, enterprise, enterprises, EIB, core connectors. And since Workday Studio is purely technical, we are going to have only overview of Workday Studio. But apart from Workday Studio, all the topic we are going to have from start to finish, means from basic to complex thing we are going to cover in the technical part, in functional as well as in technical part. Only Workday Studio, we are going to have an overview of Workday Studio. So Workday Studio is only for those who are, who wanted to have their career in technical side of Workday. Apart from this, if you want to have or called as Workday Technofunctional Consultant, then you don't have to have any programming language. You just need to have your logic clear, okay? Yes, importantly, apart from this, what are things we are going to give you? As I said, we are simply prototyping what Workday is following. So we are having a concept like Workday. We are having a presentation. We are giving an activity. We are giving you a tenant, all such things. On top of that, we are also preparing for an interview. So when you go for an interview, once you are done with the training, what after that? You all, got, you all are new to Workday, then how to look out for a job? We are going to give you that hands-on thing in interview preparation, that how to target a job, what kind of resume you should have, what kind of profile you should create onto LinkedIn, all such things we are going to assist for, uh, once we complete the training, okay? So yes, this is what we are going to give you. We are going to give you a Workday manual, which you get from Workday. We are going to share you that. Yes, tenant is very important part. We will give you a tenant access so that you can do an activity. Each session is an activity-based session. So guys, we are going to follow an implementation approach. What is implementation approach? Means we will have a hypothetical customer. We will have the requirement from a customer and we will prototype that same requirement in Workday. So right from requirement gathering till the implementation of application, we are going to follow a workday implementation approach, okay? Requirement, analysis, implementation, testing, and then go live. This is what we are going to have in our training of workday HCM fundamentals, or you can call this training as workday techno-functional training, okay? Yeah, guys, that's it for the day. But before we wrap up, any open questions or any concerns, I'll be happy to answer because from last one, one and a hour, I am talking and I didn't give you guys an opportunity to raise your voice. So now it's time, guys. If you have any questions or any concerns, make sure that you utilize this forum to clear all your doubts. Yeah, over to you guys. Uh, okay. Hi, Mantan. Uh, I Andy. take this. Yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, Mantan. Yeah, you were about to tell something. No, no, no. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I was about to conclude. But if you guys have questions, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, yes. So if you could explain uh, more about the technical part of the training. Like okay. uh, you mentioned so, about. Uh, yeah, please go ahead. So when you talk about technical part of the training, means even for technical, you should have HCM fundamental knowledge. So right after completion of HCM fundamentals, we are going to talk about the technical part. So when I talk about report, we see that how the data is stored into an object and we will create a report. So report is a crucial part of any application. If my HR comes and says, hey, I need to see the diversity report. 
how are we going to develop that we are going to talk about all the granularity of reporting how to create a report i'm not talking about how to run a report how to create a report is part of our technical segment calculated field now guys it is too technical so i'll just give you an overview because we have a slot arranged or given for this technical segment where we are going to deep dive and do that part but yes we are going to talk about from like start to finish so from understanding creating simple report then going into the complex part of so here in technical part of workday also we are not going to ask you to learn any programming language yes programming will come here in core connectors and workday studio but again i just wanted to give you an overview so that you generate your interest if you guys carry technical experience then you should go for technical segment but for understanding uh, if you wanted to call yourself as a techno functional consultant then no programming language is needed means if you know these three things and hcm then you can call yourself as a technical techno functional consultant and as i mentioned having techno functional knowledge is higher advantage where you get a job easily you can work for technical you can work for functional part and that is the reason we have incorporated this but otherwise if you look at the course wise then technical part is again a separate training but since we know that you all are here for a purpose and the purpose is to make your career and to make career we wanted to make sure that you have a technical as well as functional knowledge to get a good job yeah is that answer your question uh, yes mantan so i just wanted like better clarity on reports and eibs so like uh, reports would even we would be uh, like learning on how to create custom reports create as well report. right yes how to create report what are the logic behind creating a report how to identify which field gives you that information all of that sort so okay. it is not and how to run a report as i mentioned previously right okay. from creating a custom report so we will have a requirement in with place we will use that requirement and we'll create a report and coming to eib will that apply to eibs as well yeah 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 in eib also so we will mass upload the data so eib is simply a mass uploading a data so you can put a data into your template and you can mass mm -hmm. upload the data if i give you for an instance i say that a salary of 10000 employees to be changed if i do a manual approach i'll take one year to get the approval if i initiate then approval will go and then things will happen so since it is pre approved i will consolidate all my salary in excel and i'll dump into a workday so all my salary changes will be updated directly in one go so that is eib we are going to have that as well in okay so uh, will that just be like filling up the eib and uh, pushing it via no understanding uh, how to fill up the eib or how okay. to get the data because eib is a template based so template means you need to have a format so how to read that format what all information you need to have when you talk about eib all such thing we are going to have in our technical training okay like creating eibs is that included like creating the template yes, creating itself creating eib uploading eib testing eib checking the data eib and then creating a report and seeing the data which you have loaded is matching or not all this thing will come under eib okay so even creating the eib itself like template itself is also involved yeah yeah yes yes, yes, yes. yes. That, that's great that's great Uh, hi mantan fayaz here uh, i want to do yeah. check on the uh, the third party integration like if i want to integrate with some other uh, like you said mm -hmm. like for oracle or mm -hmm. uh, any other third party so will we will this will be uh, available in the training no this is see, i will give you an overview because you can see that, that in eib as well as in connector but, but if you have a complex integration that workday studio is needed and for workday studio you need to have a prerequisite So, so you, you need, need to have, have JavaScript, XML, XSLT. If you know these okay. languages, and, and if you have a background of integration concept, then you are entitled to go for it. Or else, first understand an SEM. Even for technical part of work day, the prerequisite is the same as the reporting calculated field and EIB is needed. So if you know this thing, then only you are allowed to go for studio. So it is not like that. If you say that I am a technical guy, I want to learn studio. Work day will give you a big no. This is that okay. First, go for SEM fundamental. Complete that. Then, then you cover reporting AI and calculated field. Once, Once you are done with that, that wait for six months. months. Then, then only you will be allowed to go for work day studio. Make sense? Ah uh, yes, Mantan. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Ah, uh, hi, Mantan. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. 
Yeah, so I actually uh, did not understand two terms you used, ERP and OMS. So can you please explain? Okay. Okay. So ERP is enterprise. Uh, your voice so, uh, has some echo. I cannot uh, hear you. Clearly. How about others? Is, is my, my voice, voice echoing, echoing or it's good? good. Yes, Same but your voice is echoing. Let me stop the share and I'll reshare it just to make sure there is something not wrong with my connection. But, but is, is it better, better now? No, it's still the echo is there. Ah, but, but I'm, I'm audible, audible, right? You, you can, can hear me. me. Yes, you are audible, but uh, there's a background uh, echo. So it's a little hard uh, to uh, understand a few words sometimes. Okay. No, no problem, problem, guys. Let, Let me disconnect, disconnect and, and join again. Okay? okay, give, give me, me a moment. Yes, please, please.